Yes. Back. You will come back. All good. Yes. All good. What's special today? What are you cooking for breakfast? Breakfast today I cooked uh, shambar and coconut chutney along with that potato vegetable and uh, for vegetables. my daughter vegetables vegetables and for my daughter I made a dosa and for my husband I made idli. Oh, variety a smogus <laughs> bowl smogus a variety of items. Wow. Is you are running a hotel or what? <laughs> are you running a hotel? Yeah, get me Italy, get me Upma, get me Dosha, get me Puri, get me Pongal, get me Poha. Wow. Nice. So all good? All good, yeah. Okay. So let's learn some grammar, basic grammar, and uh, you have to teach me after you are you know, comfortable with this. I give you some sentences and give the corrections and tell me why you corrected it in that way. Mm -hmm. Can you get, uh, can you see my chat box? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Okay. I now the, your first sentence, you, you read it one or two times so that our learners can see what I have typed. Okay. Can can they see the text in the recording? Uh, no. In text, what I do, I take the screenshot and at the time of editing, I keep it there. Okay. Wow. Yeah. You <laughs> are a pro. So this is the sentence. Read that sentence and tell me why the sentence is wrong. They are... My student and I love them. Read it aloud. You didn't uh, have the breakfast. Students. They and are my them. students and I love them. Yes. Love the 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 the. Yes, love mm. them. I uh, know they are my students and I love them. They are my students and I love them. Okay, what's the mistake? Yes. <laughs> Why? I love. You... Uh, it is in past tense, so we will. Uh, only keep love, not loved. First form of the verb. Why? That's my question. Uh, Why because, not loved? Uh, first uh, uh, means clause. Is, hmm. uh, first uh, helping verb. Is and in? first helping verb is present tense. Mm -hmm. So the second so, will be also come uh, like present tense only. Imagine I want to use love. I want to use love. Mm -hmm. I want to use yes. loud. Then okay. what correction would you make to the sentence? They were my students and I Absolutely them. incredible answer coming from yes. Oh, you are a pro. I never expected you are going to make this sentence. This one, you can't. This one is a bit tough and I am damn sure that you can't do this. To give you mm -hmm. the sentence. Let's try. I am reading a novel and my wife cooking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I am reading a novel and my wife is cooking. Wow, that's absolutely awesome answer. So I'm reading a novel and my wife is cooking. What's the reason? Teach, uh, teach the, the public. Uh, this is present continuous tense, mm -hmm. and for with I we use uh, we use am, mm -hmm. and my wife. So this is uh, like present continuous tense. So mm -hmm. is will come before coming. Uh, sorry, cooking is cooking. My wife okay. is cooking. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Now this is a jumbled sentence. Mm -hmm. Or some mistakes also there. Mm -hmm. Can you make a sensible sentence? I, I lives in New York and live she in San Francisco. I live in New York and she lives in San Francisco. Sure. Yes. 
One more, Re say it aloud. I live in New York and she lives in San Francisco. She lives in San Francisco. She lives in. Lives, S. Yes. Form V5. So see, you have to explain that. Use the form V5, the verb form yes. V5. I live in New York and she lives in San, San Francisco. Francisco. Yes. Lucky Ajay? Yes. Sure? Yes. Don't. Don't say Shanga hai. No. Koi no. Shanga hai? No Shanga. No, no. Okay. I give you your the right answer coming from Sarasudhi ma'am. And Sarasudhi ma'am. So you are getting the next sentence. They am exercising. They and am exercising and I, I training. Them. Mm. I training them. They are exercising. Yeah. They, uh, they, are, they are exercising and I am training them. They are exercising and I am training them. So the first sentence, let's go back to that. They are my students and I love them. Okay, mm -hmm. so what's the tense in the correct sentence? Uh, sorry, sir, what you said? Go to the first sentence. They are mm -hmm. my students and I love them. Yes. So uh, the correct sentence is they are my students and I love them. So what yes. tense you have used in sentence? What is the tense okay. of that sentence? Simple present tense. Simple present tense. Just keep it in mind. Okay, then yes. next one. <clears throat> I live in New York and she lives no, in second San Second one is I am reading and... I am reading a novel and my wife is cooking. What tense is that? Uh, present continuous tense. Okay. I live in New York and she lives in San Francisco. Uh, this is uh, a simple present, uh, present, simple present indefinite tense. tense. Simple, yes. uh, sorry, indefinite tense. Simple present also you can use. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Next one. Next one. <clears throat> they... They are exercising. Uh, this is also present continuous tense. This is also present continuous tense. Okay. Yes. Nice. So now, so what are the tenses you have discussed in these four sentences? Um, present, uh, a simple present tense and present continuous tense. Teach me with more examples for our viewers. Uh, just wait, sir. Let me take the screenshot. Sure. Yes. Uh, simple. So present. the first two, the first two is a sentence with one tense given wrongly. Okay. Yes. And the second two sentences are in is are jumbled with mistake in the tenses. Yes. Okay. Jumbled. So two, first two is mistake in grammar. Second is mistake in grammar with a jumbled sentence. Like yeah. a, I lives in New York and she uh, lives she in France. It's a jumbled sentence. You have to just fix the center. They they are exercising and I am training them. Okay, yes. it's a jumbled sentence. So in this second last two sentences, we are discussing a simple present continuous tense. And uh, the first two is simple present. Now teach with more examples. Oh, means uh, simple present tense and continuous tense. Exactly. Uh, in simple present tense, we use S R S E R E S in a verb. Like first, it will come subject, after that verb, and then object. For I, we, you, we use first form of the verb. We do not use yes, R, E, S. And he, she, it, they, we use S, R, E, S in a verb. Very good. And with hmm. nouns like names, also uh, we use S R E S in a verb. Okay, very good. Yes, very good. And in continuous present continuous tense, uh, for uh, I we 
sorry i we use only with i we use am and with uh, we 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 am no we are we are i we am are. in the present they tense they are they are okay yes and hmm. he see it we use uh, is okay. is our word and for i we use uh, am in a present tense present if the means it is in um present uh, so in the simple present tense with the third person we should use the fifth form of the verb we five, five. he we i five. live in uh, i live in san francisco and she lives in new york i live in new york and she live like because i live but for the third yes. person you should use the fifth form of the word she lives in san francisco yes. okay clear yeah. clear all the four sentences yes. clear simple present and present continuous you booked for a movie in the night maybe hmm. last week i'm just telling you a story and hmm. uh, the movie is at 10 o'clock hmm and your husband is rushing you and Shreya. Hey, chalo, 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 chalo. It's getting late. It's getting late. It's getting late. Mm -hmm. But you are telling her, hey, Baba, the movie starts at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. One statement. Mm -hmm. It's already, it's only 8 o'clock. It's mm -hmm. hardly a 10 minutes drive. Yeah. Why are you rushing? The movie starts at 10 o'clock. Eight to, uh, 10 o'clock. It's okay. now already, now it's 8 o'clock. So you're telling, hello, don't be in a hurry. The movie starts at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Statement number one. one. Second statement you say, hello, don't worry. It's only 8 o'clock. The movie will start at, eight o at 10 o'clock. The movie will start at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So you're giving out two statements. The movie mm -hmm. starts at 10 o'clock. Don't worry. It's only 8 o'clock. It's a 10 minutes drive. We will reach on time. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Second statement you're giving, you're telling, don't worry. Don't be in a rush. Movie will start at 10 o'clock. We have plenty of time. Mm -hmm. Which is correct. And why? Second one is correct. Hmm. Why? Uh, because we are talking about... <clears throat> Future. future. So when you talk about future, you should use about all. So yes. there is one more rule you must have learned. Yes. When you talk about some routine things, routine when you talk things. about some scheduled yes. things, yes. events, so you what, which tense you should use? Present, uh, simple present tense. So in this case, which statement is correct? Mm. 10 o'clock movie, movie always always day. starts at 10 o'clock. Yes. If the movie every day starts at 10 mm -hmm. o'clock, so the first yes. sentence is correct. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, but, but generally the movie 10 o'clock movie always 10 o'clock only. You know? Night show 10 o'clock. It's, it's a schedule in that theater. Mm -hmm. You have booked the ticket, you know it is 10 o'clock. So it's not that to, yeah, today 10 o'clock, tomorrow 10 15, and day after tomorrow 9 55. No. 10 means 10, it's scheduled. The train leaves at 10 o'clock. Mumbai Rajdhani Express to Delhi leaves at 10 o'clock, means every day it is scheduled. Day, yes. When you talk about a schedule, something is scheduled, the timing is fixed. Flight time, bus time, train time, mm -hmm. show time, theater time, schedule. You should use simple. Yes. So, which is correct statement? Baba, don't point. worry. Don't worry, we have plenty of time. Yes. The movie starts at 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, yeah. Okay. You yeah. said the other way. You said the movie will start at 10 o'clock. Okay. Mm. So what are the uses of will? Will. You say you can say, oh, will is used for future tense. Mm. Every time future tense only use will. How do you sometimes teach we, the use of will? Sometimes we use uh, shall, 
or sometimes we use will like for no, talk, I, talk about will talk about will in where will. or which situation we use will will mm. it will rain it will rain tonight it will rain tonight what type of sentence is that it's a prediction prediction yes it's a prediction i will buy a house next year hmm. prediction prediction yes your daughter will go to medical school after 10 years prediction, prediction. so for predictions use will will if you want to predict what is prediction can you A explain the meaning of prediction prediction means that can be happen in future like uh, if i say that rain will uh, means uh, come tonight means no rain will come by... rain is coming by train or flight <laughs> no it will rain tonight. It will, yes, it will rain tonight. Rain it never comes. Rain come. never goes. It yes. will. It will rain tonight. Yes. Yes. Means so, it can be or it cannot be. 50 50. 50 50. 60 40. 30-70. <laughs> yes. Anything can happen. Yes. You're not sure. You are yes. you are an astrologer kind of person. You are giving a prediction. Prediction, yes. Okay. In 2029 elections, Modi will return to power. 100% mm. sure? No. Prediction. 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 Yeah. Next month in Mumbai elections, maybe BJP will come back to power. Mm. Prediction. Prediction. So for predictions, use we, will. Will. Mm. Can I borrow 5,000 rupees from you? I will return it tomorrow. What is this statement? Is it a prediction? No. Can I borrow 5,000 rupees? Mm -hmm. I will return it next week. What kind of statement is this? I will return it tomorrow. When you come to Mumbai, Saraswati, Definitely, I will come and meet you. Is it a prediction? Possibility. Is it a prediction? It's a promise. Promise. Okay, promise. Give me 5,000 rupees. I will return it tomorrow. Promise. It's a promise. Yes. When I'm coming to Mumbai, I will definitely come and meet you. It's my promise. Yes. So, will is used for? Making Promise. promises. Promise. Will is used for making Promise. predictions. Promise. Promise. Mm. You are having your breakfast and you tell, what's your husband's name? Badrish. Badrish. So how what do you call him? Badru? <laughs> I don't know. Baba? Huh? Anyway, X Y Z, X Y Z, X Y Z. It's secret. It's secret. Don't disclose that. Okay, Baba, I will go for a movie tonight. Uh, I will go. Hmm. Iska matlab kya? What do you mean by that? I will go for a movie tonight. It's an instantaneous, instantaneous decision. While having your breakfast, you decided I'll go for a movie. Yeah. A spot decision. Spot decision. What do you say? Instantaneous, instantaneous decision. Or a spot decision in the future. Mm -hmm. Prediction yeah. in the future. future. Promise, future. promise future. in the future. And mm -hmm. instantaneous decision for the future. You are not going to for the movie right now. I will go for a movie tonight. I will go for a movie tomorrow. I will give the test next month. I will go to Singapore next year. It is the, the at the at the point of talking you have made at that momentarily you have that a momentarily decision. Yeah. So instantaneous decision can be expressed using will. So yeah. don't don't uh, say that oh will future will future will future. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Baba, I'm going for a movie tonight. <laughs> breakfast time. You are having breakfast. He is having idli. You are having dosa. Shreya is having upma. Because you are mm-hmm. very rich. You have plenty. You have a variety. You have a smorgasbord of breakfast. Okay. So, Baba, I'm going for a movie tonight. Mm-hmm. Future tense. So what does it mean? I'm going for a movie. I will go for a movie. What's the difference? Uh, I am going for a movie, movie, uh, movie tonight means today I am going to watch movie. Mm-hmm. So I will go to... for a movie. I'm going and to theater to I sleep. Will... Means, and I will go for a movie means I have decided to go. Fantastic answer. I have decided which movie, which theater, which cab, which people, which with whom are you going? How will you go? How would you come back? Everything decided. Yeah, decided, yes. If I say I will go for a movie, I just thought about that at that moment. Mm-hmm. Maybe you are reading the newspaper and eating the burrito. Oh my God, there's a new movie from Akshay Kumar. Yes, I will go for this movie tonight. Mm-hmm. So for the second one, you don't need a newspaper. Baba, I'm going for a movie tonight. You know, which movie? Akshay Kumar's movie. I'm going with my sister. We'll go by Metro. Don't worry. You don't bother to come and pick or drop us. We'll go by Metro and we'll come back. Don't forget to, to, don't bolt the door. I will open the door and I will enter. Mm -hmm. You have the key, but if he has bolted it from inside, what you can do? (laughs) <laughs> yes. So you can tell, please don't bolt it from inside. The rest we will take care of. Everything is planned about the future. So you can use that. So many usage of will and going. Yeah. So always remember simple present tense for any things scheduled, which is routine and yeah. universal truth. Sun yeah. rises in the east. Yeah. Sun will rise in the east. Oh, sun will rise in the east today. Tomorrow it will be go to south. <laughs> sun rises in the east. Yes. If you if you keep ice cream outside, it 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 will melt or it melts. It melts. It melts. Universal yes. truth. If you take ice cream, keep it in Mumbai. Oh, Mumbai, it won't melt. Chennai, it will melt. <laughs> Delhi, no, sometimes it might or it may not. Or no, it 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 melts. Yeah. If you heat water to 100 degrees, it, it, boil. Boil. it will boil or it boils? It boils. Reason? Uh, reason because this is a... It's a uh, universal it's truth. Central. Yeah. Ka koi bhi kone mein ja ke ab ubaliye, boil kariye, it, it boils at 100 degrees. Clear? Clear. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> so you got all the screenshots? Yes, I got. Yes. yes. Shall we break? Yes, sure, sure. sure. <laughs> okay, take care. Yeah. Yes, sir. thank you. Take care too. Bye-bye.